Hi everybody, my name is Paul Mutan and I would like to present you my EDP project results. First of all, I would like to start a Java server. This um, tries to connect to the Oracle DB, which runs on a computer at um, Farsoy Technic Layers tool. As you can see, we have obtained here three IPs and I will use this one in order to connect from the mobile device to the or to the Java server. Yes, it is important here to say that I use a VPN client and I am also connected through the internet with it. Also on the mobile device I use the Cisco AnyConnect client and you can see here the small lock and I am also connected to, to the internet through this um, VPN client. It is necessary since the IP at which I want to connect it is in a restricted network. Now I will go on my actual application, start it and I will type in the IP 129.187.100.58 and then press login. As you can see we pass the login screen and on the Java server after the IPs we get uh, log messages that the connection was successfully done. Okay, so, okay, so go back on our application, start the recording tab and first of all show you what we have on the local DB. As you can see in the local DB we have right now zero records. So let's see what we have in the remote Oracle DB. For this I use SQL Developer and I am already connected. Our tables of interest are accelerations, um, which has 13 datas, headings also 30, and locations or also 30. After I start the application, these tables should start also filling up. So go back, start the service. First of all, I have the, uh, the notification from the asynchronous tasks, which sends data to the server, and then the uh, notification icon from the sensor recording service. So these two are two separate things. If in the local DB I have over 1000 records, then the second one, this one, should start to send data to the server, and the tables should start also to fill up. So we have to wait until we have in the local DB over 1000 records because it is like this configured. And only after this the, uh, the server will start. Right now we have 269 in the local DB and it is important to say that every data which is ri right in the local DB it also, it, it also it is written on in, the C, in a CVS file. So, look again what we have in the local DB. We have 483 and in the log of the server nothing happens. So, we have only until right now the logs of the uh, successful connection. After the, serv the mobile application starts to write to send data to the Java server, also messages will pop here. So again, let's see what we have in the local database. Until right now, it, is reco it has recorded 695 records. We have to wait a little bit. It is like this configured that it sends data only if it has in the local DB DB database over 1,000 records because we don't have to. We don't want to have a um, background service which runs all the time and does nothing if it if it doesn't have data in the local database so it starts automatically the java server receives mes messages from the mobile device in the moment until we have the local database over 200 over 100 rec or 1000 records as you can see uh, things are moving here and this is the sent data from the mobile device. Let's see what we have in the local database and we should have over 1000 records. It is like this. We have 1060 records 
and we would like to see what we have in the remote database as you remember previously we had in each table 30 records now I refresh and we should have more than 30 as you can see we have in the locations um, 61 records in the accelerations we have also 75 and in the um, uh, headings table where we had previously 13 we have right now uh, 60 80 six okay um, now I will go and stop um, the service as you can see the red notification dot disappears and also the only the asynchronous tasks with which sends data through to the server remains let's see if data is sent to the server it has it is sending data and it will do this until um, it reaches a limit of one or oh, under 1000 records in the local db after this this screen will stop and the um, asynchronous task will not send any more data to the remote oracle db so let's see what we have in the um, local DB. So we have right now 1076 records and if this value is under 1000 then the mobile device will no, no longer send data to the Oracle to the Java server. So as you can see it is still sending data and we wait for the moment in which it stops sending data because it do not have in the local DB of the mobile device over 1000 records. We wait this moment in, in time. We have here 987. The service should stop. We see on the lock screen of the server that messages are sent because the device is faster than the receiving of the Java server and in ev every moment this should stop. We can see in the um, remote database that we have um, right now for example in the headings table we have we have right now uh, 251 records and it's still uh, receiving data I will do a refresh and see how many records I have 277 so it's still uh, receiving data but it is important to mention that the sending of the data from the mobile device has stopped only that the that the server is receiving data so this um, operation should stop in any moment let's see how many records we have right now on the remote DB we have in the headings table uh, 305 records and let's see if it still sends data it still sends data um, it's receiving data and this should stop we could we can come back to this uh, thing and um, analyze it in order to see the other features of the app we go further so um, okay now we have here the option help where we can see the main tabs of the application and who was the developer and the customer then we have the logout this um, will go out of the app and the map. In the map 
um, we have a map view with the red dot it is ind indicating my current location and um, it has also very nice features here so we can start for example tracking the, it, start, it starts tracking my position it starts automatically automatically a, a background service and it pops this blue dot here I can name the track give it a name and say OK and after tracking has started it if I move then um, my walk path should be displayed on the screen I have different types of overlays altitude uh, my location speed I can indicate or the or normal map these are features contained here I have statistics where I can analyze the tracks tracks and different views I have graph types like speed over time speed over distance and if it records data I can analyze or see the results of each track like this list for example all tracks I have right now only two and I can do some operations on the tracks um, I can also share a track for example I can share it over email it, if it's selected here sending um, over the email name of the track and the file which I want to attach then I press on OK automatically I have this email view where I send it for example where I want to send the email I will send it also to me um, it has attached the file and I also can write here something like hello world okay and then I press on send and I can look in my email account as you can hear I receive I received the email in my Gmail account so wait a minute So let's see what we ha what I have as emails. As you can see, it is from me, and the email says. Um, so here I have the recorded track and the message which I have sent. The hello world. Go back to our application. Um, Share tracks I have presented. Here I can um, send. Um, the recorded tracks and more I have different settings which I can do on, a, on the application and um, now I am in the main application and I will now leave it and thank you for your attention as you can see I am logged out and now I am out of the application thank you